Hi everybody, uh, those of you that like watching people eat rations on film, well, here's another one. Uh, we're going to do an MRE, US Army MRE meal ready to eat individual. Menu number eight, meatballs in marinara sauce. Uh, you can see on the package, got the Warner Company, Cincinnati, Ohio. And that noise in the background I thought was about to stop. Apparently not. Ah, uh, we'll keep going. I have other things to do. Righto, let's weigh it. Got my scale. Alright, 765 grams. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what it weighs. So, uh, for those of you who are actually going to have a practical use for these things and take them to, uh, you know, camping or hiking or uh, to war, there you go. 765 grams in your pack. That's about, oh, I don't know, what, a pound and a half or something, a bit more? I'll put it up on the screen. You'll find out. Righto. Peelable seal. Let's crack it open, see what we've got. And, uh, oh, it's, oh, look at that. That's that's surprisingly easy, to be honest. I'll just let you know, I've never actually eaten anything. Never eaten rations before. Uh, I only got this because I saw somebody else doing it on YouTube. G. Schultz, in fact, everybody knows who he is if you're watching this video. And, uh... I thought, uh, well, let's let's do what he does, you know. Let's uh, let's eat some food, because who doesn't like eating food, especially that which comes with the novelty of being able to prepare it yourself. Uh, I have no real military background. I don't look like a soldier at all. Uh, yeah, just uh, thought I'd give it a go. Right, oh, there you go. It's still uh, the package is still viable, I suppose. I noticed that. Uh, when I tore it open, the peelable seal pretty much worked. Just a few tears on the edges there, but um, you could potentially use this for, uh, I don't know, rubbish. Or maybe you could uh, put water in there if you were really desperate. No uh, no date code on this uh, package too, by the way. Uh, I know that's one thing that you typically see. Um, I'm sure there will be date codes on the items though. Well, let's not just throw that. Let's, let's place that. Over here. All right, let's see what we've got. All right, we've got a wheat, sna uh, wheat snack bread. By the way, this does have a, a date code, I believe. Uh, 2255. So if my memory serves me correctly, that means it was on the 255th day of 2012 that this was manufactured. So I'm getting the luxury of a pretty recent uh, MRE here. Uh, Thanks a lot to whoever I bought this on eBay too, by the way. Uh, I managed to uh, get this on a plane from the United States. I live in Australia, as you can probably tell by my voice. Uh, you're not supposed to put the flameless ration heater on planes, but we got past that. All right, let's spread this out. So we've got a wheat snack bread. We have cheese bread and uh, nutrition facts on the back there. I won't go through those. I'll just give you some, yeah, obviously, these meals are going to be a limited nutritional value. I wouldn't recommend eating them, you know, for fun. They're probably similar to eating, uh, you know, junk food, high, high in calorie. Uh, they probably have a reasonably high protein amount as well. The kind of thing that's going to keep somebody who's expending a lot of energy going, I suppose, without being particularly healthy. I think there's, uh, uh, there's a sort of directive or recommendation. You're not supposed to eat these for, for more than a certain period of time. I'll, I'll find that. I'll, I'll put it up. Right, I've got an accessory pack, we'll get to that later. We have our First Strike Nutritious Energy Bar, 2.3 ounces of apple cinnamon flavor. Uh, spoon. Okay, we have the uh, Al Gratin Potatoes. That's one that I didn't actually know came with this one, it must be new. Let's try that again. Uh, here's our Flameless Ration Heater, smuggled overnight. Not from Japan. Uh, carbohydrate, uh, sorry, carbohydrate electrolyte beverage powder, uh, orange. I'll have a go at that one later. Hot beverage bag. And here's the entree, marinara sauce and meatballs with beef and chicken. So there you go. Nutrition junkies, chicken's in there for you. Righto, let's have a look at our accessory pack. Get this one out.
instant coffee. Uh, notice in a generic packaging, uh, I've seen lots of these with a branded packaging, but that's generic. It's uh, of interest to me. Also non-dairy creamer, that's usually in a generic packaging from Kansas City. There you go. Uh, artificial sweetener. Moist towelette. Says what it's got. Iodized salt. Got two pieces of gum. One thing, no matches. There you go. Usually you get matches in this, no matches. I wonder maybe they stopped making those. Or maybe, oh, there you go. And uh, toilet paper. Now I've never actually seen anybody open this toilet paper before, so why not? How much toilet paper do you get? You have a uh, suitable amount, I suppose. I suppose this is one meal. Maybe it's supposed to be able to account for all of this meal on the other side. And I'm being a bit disgusting, but you know, you, you gotta think practically when you're uh, in, a, in a combat or survival situation. So, 12 paper. And you could probably use this as a napkin too. It's probably worth uh, pointing that out. Maybe I will later. Righto, so I don't really know what my iPhone looks like with all of that, but hopefully you can see everything I've put out. Now we're going to go and eat it. Righto, let's uh, make up our entrees. Once again, never actually done this before, but uh, hopefully I've watched enough videos to see what you're supposed to do. I've never actually seen the back of these. Let's take a minute to read what it says. Military rations are good performance meals. They give you energy. More energy to burn. Oh, sorry. The more energy you burn, the more food you need. Well, that's fair enough. Here we go. You are more active during field training, deployment, and combat than in garrison. You need to eat more and drink more water or other fluids in these situations. When you don't eat enough to meet your body's energy needs, you lose weight. I can do with a bit of that. This can lead to a loss of body fluids and degrades your performance. We go up here. Restriction of food and nutrients leads to rapid weight loss, which leads to loss of strength, decreased endurance loss of motivation, and decreased mental alertness. In the field, you need three meals per day. One MRE contains 1,200 to 1,300 calories. Average daily calorie requirements in the field are 2,800 to 3,600 calories for males, and 2,000 to 2,800 for females. If you can't eat all the food in the ration, eat some of each component to get a balance of nutrients, Eat the high carbohydrate items first. Save unopened dry snack items to eat when you're on the move. So there you go. They obviously really care about nutrition, which I suppose, well, well I'm gonna say that again. They obviously really care about, you know, uh, being adequately provisioned with food. Nutrition, on the other hand, it's a bit more relative. But um, there you go, never seen that read before. Oh look, there's more on the back. Now I'm not gonna bore you by reading another one. You've probably had enough of that already. If you're still watching, good for you. Righto, let's actually open these bad boys. Alright, there's our marinara sauce, retort pouch, of course. Uh, we'll put this all in the final ration heater. Of course, we'll put it in with the... Uh, with potatoes. I could make the coffee as well, but I don't know if three is going to go so well in that uh, flameless ration heater. And let's face it, I've never used one before, so I want to uh, have the, give myself the best chance of it actually working. Okay. And the algratin potatoes. Put these ones over here. These things. Righto, let's have a look at this. I'm going to take you through the instructions because, let's face it, I'm taking myself through the instructions. Yeah, warning there, you can pause there, I'm not going to read that one. Uh, operating instructions, that's very military, isn't it? Tear here to use bag. Must be uh, the first one. Here you go. Save card, no, I've done that. It's good. I'm going to turn that way. We'll start with that. Here we go. It's come off. Uh, Place MRE pouch in bag with heat up. All right, do that one. Put both in. Now I notice that the heater is in the middle. I don't know how well I've set that up for you, but uh, we'll put the 
this one in first on one side. And we'll put the other one in on the other side. Of course. There we go. It's a bit of a tight fit. You can make your own jokes about that. There we go. Look at that. Well, it seems like I've passed the first test. Just getting the thing to go in. There we go. Alright, what is next? While holding MRE pouch and heater above lines on bag, pour water into bag until it reaches a level between lines. Okay, above lines. Oh, okay. I've never actually seen people do this. There you go. So you actually have to hold it above the lines, which I suppose makes sense when you think about it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pour the water. We're going to pour the water down the middle. Uh, hopefully you can see that. This is a coffee plunger. Don't ask why. Well, you can't ask why. It's just because of all I could find. Oh, there you go. That is not much water at all. It's a good thing that I paid attention to that. I can hear it working already. Oh, there's steam. There you go. I didn't do chemistry, so this is a surprise to me. Uh, here we go. Let's quickly slide heater and now we're in the bottom of the bag. Do that. Yep. And fold the top of bag to side opposite heater. Well, if your heater's in the middle, I guess that's any side. There we go. Let's get this. In, actually, this one into the box we go, if we can, hurrying, 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 okay, oh that is the smell of plastic, let's hope I've done this properly, now I need a rock or something, which admittedly I did not think about, let's uh, get something a little obscure, there we go, rock or something, actually maybe that's a bit too much elevation, let's try, let's try there, and save that for later, right -o. Okay, well that's uh, doing its thing. We will um, start with some of the other things. Let's put it like that. I notice there is now water here. Why is this? Let's hope that does not have a hole. Maybe I just couldn't. Maybe this has a leak in it. Oh well, never mind. All right, let's make up. Or uh, well, let's get out some of the other things. As you can see, this is the first time I've done it. I'm not really a camping person or a moving person, so I don't have. Uh, I don't have a proper meal tray. Let's hope that you don't get too annoyed at me for that, but I don't, let's face it. Um, orange beverage pad, we'll make that up in a second. Let's start with the nutritious energy bar. Righto, let's uh, get this one. Just look at the facts too, if you wanna see those ones. I don't think people have seen those before. 270 calories, 70 from fat. Not a significant source of vitamin A. Well, you get plenty of that in combat if it's sunny and iron. Oh, hang on, that's vitamin D. Oh, that, that uh, made me look not very intelligent there, did it? Oh, well. All right, here we go. Um, I should probably be describing these things a little better than I am. I'm just talking. This uh, is quite slimy, for, for, for starters. It's, it's, uh, it's certainly not dry. It's, uh, it's quite moist, and as you can see, uh, you know, not um, particularly, uh, somewhat flimsy, I suppose, composed of its matter. The smell is definitely one of cinnamon. Uh, we'll put that down. Righto. Um, now, we also have our, we'll make up our uh, wheat snack bread. Let's, uh, let's get that one out. Let's uh, put that here. Or we'll, uh, yeah, we'll put that there. There you go, wheat snack bread. It's got a desiccant in there, of course. As you can see, it's breaking up. Once again, this is quite soft. It smells like, it's not really, it's a yeasty smell, I suppose, of the kind of bread that it is. As you can see, it's designed for a long shelf life. So uh, it's also not as big as uh, I, I would have thought it would to be too. It's quite, quite small, but we'll put that one down there and we'll put our cheese spread on. It's worth noting that uh, I've never actually eaten a, a cheese, an American cheese spread before. Uh, in fact, apart from uh, things like uh, 
I got my cheese whiz boy, something like that. That's about all I know really about uh, spreadable processed cheese. Now, if I can't get it open, of course, that's going to be an even, big and, an even bigger issue. I've always wondered how people manage to tear the corners of these things so easily. So obviously I'm just uh, really not really not set up for this. Let's, uh, yeah, we're going to cut. We're going to cut here until I can actually open it. Right, I've used uh, some ability to open this up. Uh, there we go. That'll... That'll do. Let's uh, put this on the wheat snack bread. Can't really think of anything else. Where you might, I might leave some actually for the entree. We'll see what that tastes like with, with the entree. But let's uh, put some on there. There you go. Look at that. That that just looks to an Australian that looks so very healthy. Uh, an orange cheese. See, we don't have orange cheese here in Australia. It's mostly just the, the yellow. So <laughs> there you go. And then there's still plenty left in there. Or later. Uh, right, uh, we'll put that over in here. Should probably do a better job. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's make up the beverage. Um, pretty sure you would just tear the top. Yep, there we go. It's quite powdery, as you expect of a powdered beverage. And we shall pour in our water. Does have the electrolyte smell? I can. Well, the smell common of electrolyte drinks. It's an interesting sound. Trying my best not to spill this. Getting very close to doing so. We'll say that's enough water. Let's uh, actually. Right, let's give it a shake. It's dripping water at me, which means that it must be finished. Now, I suppose if you were really pressed for time, there's no reason why you couldn't drink this out of the bag. Uh, obviously, hydration is really important, especially in, in, in arid climates such as you know most US engagements recently. So. If you really needed to get rehydrated and water wasn't cutting it for you, it, you, there's no problems with just drinking this out of this pouch. But because I like to think of myself in this setting of a house, to be a little bit civilized, we'll, we'll pour it into a glass. So you can see what it uh, looks like as well. And I added slightly too much water, but that's all right. In fact, maybe I will drink the last bit out of the bit. Well, I can tell you one, it's not weak. I expected this to be some sort of weak Camp Cordial-esque kind of beverage, but I've obviously put too much water into this pouch. Uh, but the actual taste is, is, is quite pleasant, to be honest. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, reminiscent of, a, of an orange electrolyte sports drink. It's probably the best you can think of. Okay. Now, I wonder how that's going. Let's consider. Actually. Is that our spoon? Now, I didn't actually read how long you're supposed to cook these things uh, in the flameless ration heat. I reckon it's probably been going Somewhere between five and ten minutes thus far. Let's have a bit of a, a feel. It does feel pretty hot, but I think we might leave that a bit longer. So we'll cut back when it's ready. Uh, I can't really think of much else that I can do in the meantime. Righto, we've uh, given our marinara sauce and meatballs with beef and chicken. A bit more time to cook and even though there's a big web patch on the bottom of this cardboard which surely can't bode well for the cooking of the rest of it i think we can uh, put this into my very domestic bowl that i've got here so, so. it's quite hot 
not too hot though, I swear. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna burn myself here, which is probably a good thing. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to peel off the second part when you're finished, which uh, may prove harder than I think. Once again, being defeated by this plastic. I a knife, which I don't. I could cut that. I suppose if you were in the field, you probably would have a knife. I'm gonna do something quick like that. I feel as though it would have been a lot easier to just force it out the top without actually doing this, but for the sake of crossing the I's and dotting the T's. Ah. There you go. <coughs> one flameless rush heater suitably destroyed. Right, there's one, I suppose. We Well, let's go and light this, why not? Since we have candles, I suppose we can use them. This is uh Smoking still, by the way. Right. Oh, no. That's gonna work. This lighter really needs a well, that's worked very well. Needs a new wick, this lighter, as we can see. I don't even think I'm gonna be able to light the other one because it's so so much wax dripping. But one's enough. Uh let's get out. Our second pouch. Can put this one over here. I'm gonna see if all this trash does fit into that bag at the end too. Uh, just uh, for interest's sake. Righto, let's uh, crack on. All right, these are the meatballs. Um, I've either opened it the wrong way. No, that does tear it all the way across. Yep, and it's coming out, but give you a look at it in there. That looks all right. Let's put it in the bowl. There you go. It's, it's a reasonable portion size too. Once again, I expected I expected this to be smaller. I, I said about the wheat bread, I expected it to be larger, but I did expect there to be less, especially with this. Oh, there's still some in there too. Look at that. Um, smells like marinara. Let's put that over there. It's disgusting. Let's turn it away from the viewers. Keep running. Okay, uh, now for the potato au gratin. Once again, you know what? I think I'm going to use two bowls for this. They look alright. Let's get another bowl. And. Here we go. Righto. Now, let's uh, try them individually and then we'll mix them up. Might, uh, no, we'll have our power bar later. Or our, our, our first strike bar, which should be called. Cool. Alright, here we go. Um, I don't know if these are quite warm enough, but let's see. Well, what do I think of these? Uh, you know, when I watch other people eat rations, they, they often say, oh, you know, it's good, it's good. And I wonder, yeah, is that good to a person who eats rations all the time? Is it good comparable to other rations? But I have to say, uh, as a meal, this is fair enough. Um, it's, it's a meatball in the end, so it's not entirely exciting, but it's, it's, it's perfectly good. There's nothing wrong with it. The taste is fine and, uh, you know, if I were in a combat situation, uh, I might have, you know, I might be missing my home, I might be afraid, you know, then that's, you'd expect that, of course. Uh, eating a meal like this, it tastes good, reminds you a bit of eating it, you know, when you first started eating rations when you were uh, in boot camp. Uh, I think it's a good thing. Right, let's try the, uh, let's try the potato au gratin. Now these were in the heater a bit longer, so I expect them to be warmer. Here we go. Let's not fall off. It's a good creamy sauce. Slightly cheesy, which does make redundant my idea to put uh, the rest of the cheese spread on these things. The potatoes are good. 
they don't taste bland or they don't taste uh, you know that they, there's something that I I'm, I'm happy to keep on eating but let's put it that way um, so I'm quite happy with those let's uh, let's uh, let's mix a few of these up It's good. Nothing wrong at all with that. Let's try our uh, wheat snack bread with cheese sauce. Now this is this will be a, really a first for me, but we'll go into it. All guns blazing. The wheat bread's really, really dense. Um, I suppose that's necessary. Uh, high in carbohydrates. Good shelf life. The cheese bread, it's perfectly acceptable. Uh, I'm not a fan of processed cheese, so uh, you know it, it's not something I would choose to eat. But it adds a decent flavour to the uh, to the snack bread. And uh, once again, uh, as a meal to eat in combat, nothing wrong with that. I'd rate that. I'd, I'd, I wouldn't have it. If I were a soldier, I wouldn't have a problem eating any of this. Right, let's uh, try the first strike energy bar, apple and cinnamon. As you can see, it tears a bit like that. Yeah, first strike energy bar, uh, it's good. A um, bit like eating a cake batter that's a bit harder than you'd expect. Uh, good cinnamon taste, I, I, I do like this flavor. I like cinnamon and, and, and apples. So once again, uh, high in energy. I think 275 calories or something are in that in that order. Um, if you didn't have time to prepare this and you you just needed some sustenance, uh, you know this would be a really good thing. Uh, righto, that's pretty much everything done. Let's just uh, well, let's use our moist towelette. I'm always a fan of these. Go to uh, KFC, it's a good place to uh, procure them. But uh, no, that's good. That's quite moist actually. Uh, they weren't lying when they call it a moist towelette. I can wipe up, and you really need to. If you weren't going to use the spoon, uh, especially for the, the energy bar there, it is a bit greasy, so using this really helps out. Um, quite happy with that. Uh, let's put that over there. And last but not least, the gum, which looks like it's going to be really hard to get into with wet hands. There you go. I'm sure we all know what uh, gum tastes like. Very good. Okay, now that meal's done, let's see if we can get all this rubbish uh, into back into where it came from. These things are disgusting, so I'm going to put them in straight away. <coughs> I don't want to drop a salt. Oh, I'll probably use that on the meal. Actually, to be honest, didn't need salt, so I'm glad that I forgot that one. Bits of wax from the candle. Well, that's not really part of it. Ugh. Those in there. That candle was really hot then. Leave these things out. There's waste here. It'd be really funny if I discovered something that I hadn't eaten. No, I haven't. We'll leave the beverage bags unused and the old towelette. it has got water all over it. I, I, I'm sure that this... Uh, I have a feeling that that... Under there must have been leaky. Right. Okay, well, this is turning out to be much less of an exercise than I thought it was going to be, so I'm happy to cut this here. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, put your comments down there, your rating, obviously, for a, a first attempt. There are a couple of interesting moments there, but let's face it. If you want me to, uh, you know, if you want me to eat some Australian rations, get some Australian rations from wherever and, and eat some of those, make more videos, uh, please say so. Otherwise, I'll totally understand if. Uh, this was a waste of 20 or so minutes of your time. But uh, never mind, I'm sure that uh, there are much worse ways to uh, waste your time. Thanks very much. <laughs>